This is your daily scripture dose from Karthik Faith Fillers for Sunday the 22nd of October 2023. Our first reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 45. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him, stripping kings of their strength, opening doors before him, leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by name, giving you a title, though you do not know me. I am the Lord, there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you do not know me, so that all may know from the rising of the sun to its setting that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Give the Lord glory and honor. Sing to the Lord a new song, sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell his glory among the nations, among his peoples, his marvelous deeds. Give the Lord glory and honor. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised, to be feared above all gods. For the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and might due to his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Give to the Lord glory and honor. Bow down to the Lord, splendid in holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Declare among the nations the Lord is king. He rules the people with fairness. Give the Lord glory and honor. A reading is taken from the first letter from St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of Thessalonians, in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance in the hope of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before our God and Father, knowing brothers loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power, and in the Holy Spirit, and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 22, verses 15 to 21. Then the Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap him in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth, and you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus says, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the po coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and to share this video. You can also check out my journals which are on Amazon in the description box below. Bye for now.